With only a few days left before at least 21 leaders of economies fly to the Philippines to attend the APEC summit, the government's transportation sector is once again under scrutiny. This time, it's over an alleged scheme to plant bullets in the bags of unsuspecting airport passengers in an attempt to extort money from them. Transportation Secretary June Abaya downplays the so-called Laglagbala scam as isolated cases. Since 2012, more than 6,600 cases of intercepted ammunition have been recorded by airport authorities. As of November 2015, close to 1,400 cases have been reported in airports all over the country this year alone. A bias cites cases where passengers themselves admit to carrying bullets as talismans or agimats and instances where they simply forget to remove ammunition from their bags. But again, although we're talking about statistics in the decimals, let me emphasize that a single case of any passenger unwrongly charged, extorted upon, victimized by planting, unjustly charged in court, is unjust. It is not something that government should ignore. It is something that government should put full force and attention to. And likewise, is a great concern for the state. The, so the numbers don't spell it. A single case of injustice merits full government attention. And as transportation, airport, and security chiefs hold because a press conference on the issue, uh, a passenger is caught with ammunition as he enters the arrivals area of Naia Terminal 3. He says it was a gift from a friend, a talisman to protect him. Under current gun and ammunition laws, possession of live ammunition is sanctionable. Intent is not a factor. So we are ferreting out the truth to fix lapses and restore the confidence of the public in our airport security staff and police. And likewise, restore the morale of our security personnel as well. Is it an overblown issue or a case of the government turning a blind eye to corruption within its own ranks? In a country where distrust of government is endemic, the latter is assumed as passengers turn weary and politicians incredulous with each new bullet found inside the bags of travelers. Beko Rappler, Manila.